Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to check in with you. It is the Super Bowl today. The Super Louche, right? The Super Programming Day. So, I mean, I don't watch the Super Bowl and I don't give two fucks about it. Never have. Um, a lot of people are vested in it. A lot of people pay their attention to it. So, if you are paying your attention to it, just pay attention to, like, what are they trying to sell you and what are they trying to tell you during the Super Bowl? Because that's the hidden agenda right there. You get a bunch of magical creators in one place all focusing on one thing. That's when they can come in and really push for you to create what they want you to create not what you want to create so that's just a reminder there's nothing wrong with liking sports and wanting to watch sports just pay attention to what they're trying to push what the hidden agenda is also i wanted to say that the sun's popping off again i don't know what the sun truly is but i know the ancients ancients worship the sun i know that the sun is important I know that the sun affects me and the sun is popping off and, and Adam always tells me the sun's popping off and he explains it to me because he keeps track of it. And I guess we've had like earth facing X10 solar flare whatevers and they're super powerful. And I have noticed in my years since awakening that when these things happen, when this energy is directed at us, large amounts of energy, because that's what it is, um, I either feel sad and I'm releasing a bunch of stuff, or I feel exuberantly happy and blissed out, vibing high, dancing my way through it. Both are normal. It's even normal to go from one to the other within one day, you know? Or Monday you're happy, Tuesday you're down, Wednesday you're fucking happy, Thursday you're sobbing. Like, it's normal when this is going on with this energy off the sun. You guys, for years and years, people have been telling us, the sun is what will transform us. The sun is raising the consciousness. The sun is going to change our bodies. The sun is aiding us in becoming more consciously aware. Well, we are seeing the sun do these things. We're seeing it from day to day now. If you pay attention to the Schumann resonance, which I don't anymore, um... Every once in a while, it'll be on one of my feeds, and it'll be off the chart and whatnot, and I'll be like, yep. You know, when I first woke up, I paid attention to all these things. Like, back in 2015, this shit was important to me, boy. But now I'm just like, yeah, it's going on. Like, I don't even need confirmation. It's just going on. We've also had, you know, some moon activity, and whenever there's a new moon or a full moon, we feel it. Again, it's more of a negative energy compared to the sun energy. <clears throat> so I just want you to know if you've been feeling some kind of way, if you've been finding yourself upset or purging a lot of emotion, it's completely normal um, and it will lift and you will feel lighter. I've noticed in myself that I've been hyper fixated on someone and fixing a relationship and um, all of this trapped trauma that I've carried for 30 some years, you know, at least 25 years, is presenting itself to me. And I'm just melting down and sobbing at the weirdest times. Today I have my dance music on and I'm making a grocery list. And I'm like dancing in my chairs. I make my list. And, and I had one thought about this person. And I wonder what they're doing today. And I fucking lost it. I started crying so hard. My eyes puffed up. My face was red. You know, and then as quick as it came on, it went away. 
And this is just normal right now, you guys. As we're lifting our consciousness, as we're activating our dormant DNA, as our bodies are changing, lots of things are going to come up for us to clear. And the way we clear it is by feeling it, letting it, letting it present itself to us like I'm still here. This trauma is still here. Feel it. Let it move out. Feel it. Let it move out. Eventually, you're going to get to a point where it's not, you don't have to feel it anymore because it done moved out. You've cleared that trauma. So, you know, some of you may have cleared all your shit. So you're just vibing high every time. Like there's energy coming off the sun and people are freaking out, losing their minds and you're just dancing your way through it. Woo. You know, you're like, life is fucking wonderful. I have days like that too. It's great. Right. I've noticed with myself and my three daughters, we all four have been having moments where we find ourselves a sobbing mess. And we all have something that we can equate it to. Like, I am a sobbing mess because, and we have a situation we can blame. But that's the beauty of it. The situation showing up to be cleared, but the situation is also giving you an opportunity to move that emotion. Like I've said in other videos, don't stay there too long. Feel it. Let it go out. Let it release it from your field, but know what's happening and find your way out of it. Don't live there because then you'll end up depressed. Just wanted to discuss how the Super Bowl is a sham and how they are using everyone's energy to create what they want to create. So be aware of that. And let you know that massive amounts of energy are hitting us right now. And you may be feeling some kind of way. And it's normal and it's okay. Also, this is coming up in sessions. You guys might be noticing that you're being guided to do things more and more like the guidance is much stronger like these thoughts will pop in this session i was doing with someone she noticed that these voices were coming in and she was being guided for her body and herself to try to be raw vegan just give her a go you know i'm not saying you should or that every spiritual person should be vegan or raw vegan i'm not saying that but for her and also what has been coming up in sessions is weird little physical symptoms okay these are just little things that your body goes through when you are being activated and when your body is changing and you will have an inner knowing that nothing is wrong with you and it's going to go away so you don't trip about it i've had them as well so a lot of people call these ascension symptoms. You don't need to label them. I don't need to label them. Just know your body may be tripping a little bit, but it's probably nothing serious. If you're freaked out, go get it checked out. But there's a lot of weird little body things going on. Another thing that has come up in sessions is people who have not heard their guides clearly before or higher self or whatever you fucking want to call it right don't tell me i'm wrong because such and such ain't real whatever you want to call it people are noticing that they are able to tap into their inner guidance or higher guidance or your true self's guidance more and more easily and that's going to look different for every person. I've told you guys that I am fucking seeing the invisible beings. I think I told you guys that the other day I got out of the car and I was walking into my door and I saw a lady wearing white coming around the corner by the next apartment over and I turned to her and said, hello. And she wasn't there. She disappeared, right? And she just dissolved, disintegrated right in front of me. And I had a whole conversation with the guy named Jim in another room. Like, it is so strong. But for other people that have not had the ability to tap into all the energy and beings around them, that may look like 
seeing stuff out of the corner of your eyes or flashes of light or you hear this voice in your head <clears throat> and it's clearly not you thinking right it can overlap on top of your voice and it sounds like your voice and it's almost like you're having a conversation with it and you're like what is this that is your internal guidance system that is your guides or a guide or a angel or a guardian keep it up your abilities are being turned on keep talking to that voice ask it to speak in a different tone so that you can tell that voice apart from your normal voice that you hear in your head when i was first connecting to my guides i said okay all y'all have to have different accents and they would come in with an english accent or talking like one of the people i've listened to on youtube they all adapted different ways of speaking for me so i could tell who i was talking to super helpful but that's been coming up in sessions so i just wanted to address that and let you know if you're having that that's awesome. I want you to know that your gifts and abilities are being turned on. I'm going to let you guys go now. I love you so much. I hope you have a great day. I will see you again soon. If you want to support me or want more videos, um, join my Patreon. You or if you don't want to pay, that's cool too. Um, you can join as a free member. And I just want you to know that I do put posts up um, and make it so everyone can see them. It's just a place where like-minded people that agree on the same things and want to discuss these things go and conjugate. Okay, because YouTube can be toxic at times and you got these these people in comments that want to argue and tell you you're wrong and like they're nothing but trolls they're ai bots okay pretending to be real creator humans but on patreon it's a place where they people want to be there right so i know everyone wants to be there so i share a lot more there it has nothing to do with money if you want to make a free account cool thank you so i love you guys um and I will see you again soon.